Hey, good morning, everyone. Don Gillis here with Emerson. I'm at the Copeland plant in Sydney, Ohio. Today, I'm going to be uh, uh, showing you this demo, if you will. I'm, uh, it's a two and a half ton scroll compressor, a ZR. Uh, let me set this up for you. I'm using a step up transformer in my office, uh, plugged into a normal 120 outlet, going to 240 for the compressor. Uh, a couple different things. We're using air uh, to simulate the uh, vapor for the refrigerant. Therefore, instead of PoE oil, we're using mineral oil because the moisture in the air obviously wouldn't do well with the PoE oil. As we've talked about many, many times, it's hygroscopic, uh, would absorb that moisture. So uh, let me see what else I'm missing here. Uh, as you know, we've talked about this before. We have the two scroll sets. The upper scroll uh, we refer to as the fixed scroll. The lower scroll is the orbiting scroll. On top of that is our, or, uh, our, our floating seal. On the bottom of that is our old coupling. We're sitting on top of this straddle bearing here. Okay, where you see these bolts at is actually where you see that crimped or that pressed in mark on the scroll. That's where it's machined in and that's what's holding the weight of that up at the top on the outside of the scroll. If you ever wondered what those dimples were on the scroll there. Okay, uh, what else have I missed? Uh, within classroom, it's a two pole motor. We teach that uh, the motor is running approximately 3,500 RPMs. Uh, therefore, a four-pole motor would be half of that, 1750, when in actuality, what's really running 3,500 RPMs is the rotor, not the motor. Uh, the motor is closer to 3,600 RPMs. With the slip, we'd get 3,500 RPMs on the rotor, okay? So we're going to take a good look at this. I'm going to do a couple different videos on this. I have a strobe light here. I'm not going to turn the lights off today. I'm just going to run this thing. Again, I'm using a step-up transformer. And uh, just to show you what this looks like, uh, you'll notice the, the oil start to foam up or start to move around there for you. Again, an actual working scroll compressor, the only difference is the shell is made of acrylic and uh, not the metal that we're used to, okay? Using, moving very, very fast. Notice the oil dripping down here. That oil has a little, or that shaft has a little flinger at the bottom of it almost like a couple of rudders or propellers, if you will, causing that uh, oil to come up to the top of it. The shaft is actually drilled out. The hole at the bottom is a little smaller than the, than the hole at the top, causing a vortex effect to come up through that, uh, through that shaft. And uh, it's, it's slightly bored out at a slight angle. So the centrifugal force, almost like a barber pole, if you will, allows that oil to come up to the top of the scroll set. You can see it pouring out on the side right here. It actually comes up, lubricates the scroll set. We don't use any tipping material on our scroll, by the way. That's why we say ours wear in and not wear out. Uh, no opportunity there to lessen that tipping material that we don't use. Oil is our sealant, okay? Uh, that is what our tipping material is, uh, long and short of it, okay? Uh, again, oil gets up there, comes back through that fault, uh, and drips back down through the cup. Uh, starting the process all over again, okay? Um, that's about it for now. I don't want to make these videos too long. I'll uh, get you a couple more of these out to you uh, as soon as possible. And uh, and I'll get the lights off and get the strobe light, try to set up the camera to where you can actually see it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set the strobe light for approximately 3600, and you're actually going to see that scroll with the naked eye almost look like it's stopped. Like it's not even moving, okay? And this is how a lot of the testing is done here at Copeland, by the way. You walk into a lab, you see a reed valve with the lights on. It looks like it's just standing there. They turn the lights on, hit it with a strobe light, and you can see it flickering, uh, flickering up and down really, really fast. They're testing that, simulating that, what that might look like 10 years later at certain speeds or five years later. And that's how a lot of the testing is done hanging weights on it, moving it to a certain speed, and being able to s simulate what that might look like 5, 10, 15 years down the road. Really cool stuff. Uh, but anyways, I'm Don Gillis with Emerson. Uh, be safe out there. Be kind to each other. And uh, always look after each other, okay? Have a great day, everyone. See ya. Bye.